Welcome back, YouTube family. It's good to see you again. I'm so humbled. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. This segment, my wife is on. She's going to give you guys some special tips. So please, please make sure you guys pay attention. And again, it's going to be a special segment. So welcome, Ms. Watkins. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just jump right into it. You know, we've been married for over 20 years, together for over 22. So when you see a guy out and about, what just grabs your attention and make you say that guy has it? Well, there are a few things that grabs my attention. Uh, one thing is um, his walk is meaning is he walking with confidence? Um, is he slouching? Is he um, walking with his head up? Things like that. Um, Another thing that catches my attention is his overall appearance. How is he dressed? Does he look well put together? Does he have a manicure? Um, does he have a fresh cut? So I really uh, pay attention to the, uh, things like that. Um, and then lastly, um, if he smells good. Uh, well, I, I think I can speak for most women that we really love a man that smells good. And so if a man smells good, that definitely is grabbing my attention. Okay. Great point. So I want to go back and just touch those points again because you said some really nice points. Number one, the body language. And guys, we communicate over 50% with our body language. Some studies say 50, some studies say 80. But overall, it's definitely about 55, 56% we communicate with our body language. Number two, the manicures. I like my wife say about the manicures because that's one of those un, you know, written rules. We don't like to get manicures or even pedicures, but that sends a message as well. And we're actually going to talk about Empire Beauty School a little bit later, and talk. She's going to talk about manicures. Number three, which I love, and we've been together for you know over 20 years. I've been wearing cologne since I was 14, so a long time back in the day. And I'm glad my wife touched on that point. So that's another point. So here's a bonus tip: Do you have a special cologne that you like that you know, just like? Oh, that's pretty. It smells pretty good. Um, honestly, I really like anything that smells good. Um, there are a few colognes that I do like. So one I can think of off the top of my head is Versace, Versace uh, Blue Jeans. Okay, okay. And right on cue, we have a copy of Versace Blue Jean Cologne, just so you know what it looks like, right? Uh, Versace Blue Jeans, that smells really nice. It has a light uh, citrus smell, so it's a very light cologne, mm -hmm. something that you can wear on a daily basis, not too overbearing, so that's a good cologne. And I know my wife and I, we also like Ed Hardy because Ed Hardy is a unisex cologne for, you can have Ed Hardy for women, Ed Hardy for men. So that's another bonus tip, Ed Hardy. So um, that's another bonus tip for you guys. So any advice that you can give men that are either in a long-term relationship or a short-term relationship, any advice you can give from that perspective? Um, any type of relationship, mm -hmm. uh, definitely just take care of your appearance and how you look. More specifically for men who've been in a relationship for a long time, um, I would definitely uh, take pride in your appearance. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I know sometimes when we, especially when we've been in a relationship for a long time, it's easy to get comfortable. Mm -hmm. And um, just keeping in mind that your mate was attracted to you for a reason and you want to definitely maintain that attraction. So just take pride in your appearance. Um, no matter what you have on, you can look good in anything. It's just how you are wearing it. So. Okay, all right. Well, on a separate note, we've talked about grooming, but we're gonna wrap this up. I know my wife, you're a math teacher, math specialist, and you work in, in, out here in Arizona. And you also do something on the side with, with real estate. If people want to find you, how can they find you if they want to reach out to you, maybe purchase a home? Yes, yeah, so I am a real estate agent licensed in Arizona, and you can follow me on Instagram or uh, Facebook at Renee AZ Home. Thank you, thank you, appreciate mm -hmm. that. Thanks again for coming out, baby. Appreciate that, and, and uh, good to have you. Yeah, thank you. See you next week, family.